Take them back, take them back, take them back, take them back now. I take it back on some nostalgic shit. Hi, John, this is your senior send off video. Uh, we're sending you off. Okay, bye. <laughs> he throws great parties. What else? Uh, Mia, Mina Fonzo actually used to make fun of your voice because you talk like this. He talks like this. And you talk very soft. Another interesting thing that was also pointed out during his acapella concert is that he is pretty boss at Fear Fox. I've seen it. John, there's so much that I could say about you. The first of which is you will always be solidified in my mind as the guy who always had his pants down during beer pong when we were partying. I don't know why all of this is all related to drinking, but... Um, hmm. what is my fondest, naughtiest memory of you? Uh, maybe in light of recent interactions, the things that you seek me, seek me out for advice regarding girls, <laughs> um, congrats? I mean, I can't really make fun of you too much because, like, I talk, I have a soft voice too, but, I mean, like, if you think about it critically. Hi, Brianna. Here I am in the lobby of The Rock. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm supposed to start this out with roasting you, but I feel like we do that enough on, like, a daily basis. Fuck, man. Why you gotta be a senior? Yeah, what the hell? What the hell is that about? I was on a plane back to Chicago over Thanksgiving break. This girl, this random girl in a in a brown hat and glasses, looked at me and smiled at me. And I was like, "Who is this person?" Um, and I was like, "Hey, what's up?" Um, we sit next to each other on the plane, um, and I pull out a book and I read. And I don't talk to Way back to Chicago. And it was Brianna. Hmm. Funniest moment I've had with Jen. So I'd say, probably back in the dance practice days when he would always be doing like sexual, sexual moves, like moves that would make us look really sexy. And we'd come up with like funny names for them, and I guess you could say that like sort of inspired a lot of the stuff that I would do. Just like him being known for like pulling out all these moves that like he was like his butt. A funny thing about Jenzel is that he always comes off as really, you know, like humble and shy, you know, kind of like keeps to himself, but secretly he really likes doing body rolls and sexy dances. And whenever we're not dancing at dance practice, he'll always be, you know, doing some sexy move to himself. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Rainer, so I've actually known you the longest out of all of the seniors. I've known you for seven years now. That's honestly crazy. Um, I met you in my freshman year of high school. We went to the same high school. Here is a photo of both of us. And even though it's been seven years since we first met, you know, it's um. Like, you still just stay true to yourself, and you're always still the same welcoming person that um, that I met seven years ago. I remember this one time with Rainer. We were coming home on the bus from, I think, Dina Mondra's house or something like that. And he just whips out his Pikachu 3DS, and I was so jealous of how awesome it was. Obviously, it's really awesome. Um, and I think I was sitting next to him and I like freaked out about it and he was just like oh yeah I just bought it at GameStop and then kept playing for the entire bus ride home but I don't know it's kind of a silly moment but that was just so Rainer. Oh, this is for Jumar. Um I think the most surprising moment was I think uh, but it was over uh, winter break <laughs> and um, I got back I just got back from Guam I posted a picture of me and the beach and then I, I, I drew more commented and he goes uh, Poggy from Guam and I was just like <laughs> I was so so flattered and that was one thing I will I will never ever like forget about Jomar. <laughs> Jomar is one of those people who I could list an infinite number of things to admire him for. And that's despite the fact that after four years at Brown he still hasn't quite learned what it means when you say that you are studying. <laughs> 
Hi world, so this is Danielle, live from Spain in my stairwell. Um, I'm about to do this video for Delmar. And yeah, so sorry if she's kind of awkward. A funny story I have with Delmar would be, I think, was it last year? I don't know. We went to the club, probably Ultra, because, you know, um, for some reason we always seem to go there together. We went to Ultra, and at the end of the night when we were quite drunk, quite hungry we literally took a cab to joe's well close enough to joe's we literally ran to joe's at like 1 30 in the morning to get there on time for a spicy whip and oh my god it was the, the most glorious spicy whip i've had in my life and then we were eating there and then we got kicked out pretty much at the end of it but seriously like I'll never forget having to run with Jomar to get this spicy whip. It was amazing. And I feel like you were always handing out hot chocolate on the main green exactly what I needed it. You know, it'd be like a horrible day freezing because apparently Providence doesn't think that it's spring or summer yet. Um, but you'd always be on the main green handing out hot chocolate and um, it was always just a really nice thing to have. I really enjoy Anna. I think Anna was definitely one of my favorite. <laughs> one of my favorite seniors because she's like really sweet and I only got to really know her this year. I met her, I met you like last year, a little, a little bit briefly when I first kind of joined FA. Um, and then you went abroad and you like had a fun time in Scotland. And then this year when you came back, I'm like, oh my god, like, oh, this girl's back. What's her name? Oh, her name's Anna. Okay. <laughs> and I discovered that you are just a wonderful person with such a beautiful, bright personality and you're always smiling. I think that's probably the most interesting thing I can say about you is that you're always very happy whenever I see you and you love the color pink. <laughs> you know, I can't really think of one really funny moment with Gabby because every time I do, we just get so shit-faced that we don't remember anything. <laughs> so fun fact, actually, Gabby is my ate. So I met her my freshman year and at first thought, I was like, this girl's really, really awesome because she's so... She, she looks like she got everything together. But if there's one thing that I always think about when I think of Gabby, the word coño. <laughs> Gabby is so coño. <laughs> there are so many instances, but I don't feel like roasting Gabby right now on that part. <laughs> so in my opinion, Amy Seat is the epitome of a renaissance person or someone who is multi-talented um, and over the past years I've had the fortune to hear her perform with Shades of Brown, um, to see her dance with Filipino Lions and last semester to perform alongside her, um, share the stage with her um, as members of Arky. Hey Amy, so here's your senior send off video. Well, besides dance practice and your your amazing dancer, first of all, just putting that out there. Um, I just I think one moment was during I think it was an open mic night or maybe visions. I'm not I, I'm not sure, but like you played the guitar and Danielle sang, and and I just thought it was like super sweet and like really cool that you guys like did that because I wasn't expecting it I was just like there for free food and also to support you guys of course Hi Mama! The main main day Mama! Lixie. Um, So a special time that we've had together would definitely be when I was in the Philippines for Kaya and I don't know it was just random I hung out with Mama, went to this mall and just had dinner with her and Bianca. Hi Bianca! Um, and it was just so strange to me. The entire time I was like, wow, our friendship made it across the ocean. This is so cool. And then I even went over to her house afterwards and met her parents. It's pretty much when we started dating. Um, just kidding. So two years ago on my 19th birthday, um, about 15 minutes before dinner, MoMA tells me that she's running really late. And I was so upset, and then after dinner, I realized that the reason she was running late was because she was putting together this amazing surprise for me in her room. She put up all these decorations, had cupcakes, and I just like felt so bad because I was like, how could I have been so mad at her for not doing, for doing all of this for me? And I think that that kind of just symbolizes 
one of the reasons that I love MoMA so much is that if you're someone that she sees as her friend, she is so willing to invest all this time and effort to make you feel really great about yourself and to make you feel loved. Hi Jeanette, this is your senior send off video. Um, let's see, uh, one cool thing that I know about you. So I, <coughs> I haven't really seen you as often as I wish I could have, but there was this one time that we were studying at Watson and you were studying for this test and you were studying for like being set like not pathogens maybe it was pathogens but it was like diseases and like now you know all these really cool things about diseases <laughs> Rockin' with the, the happy camper